How's it gaming guys? I'm Funnel Blanks and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. We are making our way to the Elite Four. We are in uh, Kanto, the neighboring region uh, that is next to Johto. Uh, this is the only game in the series that does like the two region thing. Uh, the remake does it as well, obviously, because it's a remake of this game. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's weird. We have two whole regions to kind of go through. Mind you, right now, we're just going straight to the Elite Four. It's the only thing we can do at the moment. Uh, so we have two routes and then a quick trip through Victory Road, which actually has no trainers, which is very, very weird. And I believe we only have three Pokemon left to catch, and that's every Pokemon uh, that we're going to catch before we kind of beat the regular game. So, that's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, right now, all my Pokemon, except for Dio, are at level 40 or above. Um, we definitely want to get as close to level 45 with everyone as possible, though I don't think we're going to make that. We're, like I said, we don't have that far to go. Um, we are going to get to the Elite Four uh, by the end of this episode, even if it goes a little bit longer. And uh, if I have to skip some trainer fights, then so be it. I'll fight them on my own time. I think it's more important that we get there and kind of start next episode at the final kind of fight, at least for this part of the game. Uh, Dio. Yeah, Dio. Dio's only level 39. Everyone else is level 40 or above. Um, so we definitely want him to, or yeah, him, to join the rest of the team. And we will be getting a really, really good uh, move for Flopsters this this um, this episode, which will be great against some of the Elite Four, hopefully. <laughs> it's always hopefully, because you never know with dual typing. I, I so don't pay attention. And, you know, it's, that's the fun thing about me. You never know what you're going to get, right? It might go super well, it might go super badly. But anywhere from level 40 to level 45, um, we should be okay. We'll be under-leveled for the last, last boss. But not, not like under-leveled, just... Not as high a level as as the last boss, but that'll make the fight more interesting. It's definitely beatable. All four fights you have to do in a row. You can't go back to the Pokemon Center and you can't leave. You can, however, heal up between each fight with your items. So that is definitely better than nothing. Um, damn, I got Flopsters still out. Uh, let's get dear Patty out. Patty's got really good coverage for attacks. Having lightning and water is, is really good. It covers a lot of weaknesses, which is fantastic. So, just gotta be careful not to mix them up. Don't use Surf when you want to use Lightning. Don't use Lightning when you want to Surf, because that can uh, that can mess you up. So you gotta be careful. You gotta pay attention. A lot of the trainer fights have really good levels here. Mid 30s. That's not bad. In fact, in Victory Road, the um, the wild Pokemon have like mid 30s as well, which is great. Uh, it means leveling up isn't super super hard. Take that cool trainer, Brian. You can see an item down there. Uh, we're not going to get it. Don't say a thing. Let me guess what you're thinking. Hmm, I got it. You're on the Pokemon League Challenge. Well, yeah. I mean, I could be just going to visit my friends in Kanto. Everyone's so presumptuous in this game. It's like a Gilbert. Uh, but yeah, that item down there is... Um, ah, shit. I really shouldn't be with uh, Flopsters right now. Damn. Let's get... The cat. No, no, let's get Patty out. Um... Yeah, that item down there is Solar Beam. I don't think anyone can use it in my party anyways. Uh, and you need someone who knows uh, Whirlpool, which I don't right now. And I'm not switching out my stuff just to go down there. Uh, there is a trainer, though, which is kind of a shame I'm skipping. But again, I can do that type of stuff on my own time before we uh, start the next episode. So it's more important right now that we kind of just make it through. And on this route, we can find two new Pokemon. Uh, three, if you count the evolution of one of them. One is Doduo, which you guys should know if you watch my Red and Blue. Uh, we... Fought. Uh, let's get him around here. Uh, we didn't fight. Sorry, we we had a Doduo and a Dodrio in my party uh, last time we played a Pokemon game named Susan. <laughs> Capital letters, exclamation marks, and everything. Uh, they were very good. They were my flying type Pokemon in that game. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and so you can get a Doduo here, and you can also get a Dodrio here, uh, which is the evolutionary form of a Doduo. Ah, so close. So damn close. Uh, let's see, that's nothing. Uh, you can also get a Ponyta here. Ponytas are fire horses. They're very, very cute. So we're going to hunt them down before we kind of move on, obviously. And then we'll have one more we can get in Victory Road. And that'll be all the Pokemon we're going to catch before we uh, beat the first part of the game. So yay. What else do you got? You got a Giraffe Rig. I like Giraffe Rig. Such a shame you can't catch it in this game. I would have loved to have used it. It looks very, very cool. And throw a rock at it. It's face. Which face? I don't know. I don't know if the tail actually is a face. Like, is that an actual, like, creature, or is it just the way the tail looks? Because Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet has the same idea. Like, it has a little black tail with, that has, like, a face on it or something. It's super weird. 
The two Pokemon have that kind of thing, though Giraffeorg isn't ashamed of it the way Wobbuffet seems to be. This is that. Nice. Very nice. That's Psychic Gilbert. Did you see that coming? You're too much. Yeah. You should have known that if you were a real psychic. But you're not one. Uh, oh, deal's level 40 now. Um, yeah, we'll just keep Flopsters then. Anyone getting levels is good, so... It's definitely not a bad thing. Oh, did you see me? Yes, you did. Uh, you shouldn't underestimate the wild Pokemon in these parts. Probably not. They're probably fairly strong compared to a lot of the wild Pokemon in this game. But that doesn't matter, Cool Trainer... Rena. We're just gonna take you out anyways. Damn! So the water type of one here all of a sudden. We'll be able to take out Flopsters really easily if I'm not careful. Back uh, to Patty again. Like I said, Patty's got really good type coverage with it, with um, with the attacks that uh, that he has. Good um, HP too. 160, 1 level 40. It's not bad. That does nothing to me. You're dead to me, Starmie. Faster than Starmie's faster, which makes sense. Usually, psychic Pokemon usually tend to be pretty quick. So, and my speed just fell. Hope this will kill. I could use Thunder. I don't like missing. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Awesome. Ooh, nice. Good job, Flopsters. Level 42. Nido Queen. Uh, let's just keep Patty out there. Use a Surf. Yeah, we've seen a Nido King, but we've never seen a Nido Queen yet. Also very good. Nido Queen and Nido King are great Pokemon. They're fast, apparently. Oh, yeah, my speed's lowered, though. Yay, surf. And I don't know if it'll kill it. Probably. Yeah, it is a ground type Pokemon, super effective, and I'm I've got seven levels on top of it, so. Yeah, give me all those big experiences. Give me some big beefy Pokemon. That's great. Thank you. And let's hit with thunder. Come on, hit with thunder. Bubble beam's basically nothing, so I don't really care. Yeah, I'm always where I'm gonna like. Uh, uh, they're gonna evade it, mind you. Uh, if you're in a fight and you know you're gonna use like, a lot of moves like Thunder in that one fight, get an X, X accuracy. Spend the first turn of the fight um, using it on on your Pokemon, and um, you, you're just almost guaranteed to hit. Uh, I want to find some grass because I definitely want to hunt down those two Pokemon that I need. Oh no, I'm number 26 now. I have no idea if Doduo and Ponyta are available here, so I'm actually just gonna take some time and uh, find Doduo and Ponyta. I'll be right back, guys. All right, well that was easy. Doduo is here. Perfect. Dodo is a fairly common one here, so is Ponyta. Neither should take me a very long time to find them. So hopefully it's a flying type, so I can't even use. Ah, crud. Crud, crud, crud. Let's get Dio out here. Use a quick Fury Swipe, which will not do a lot of damage. No, no, not Rage. Rage is such a weird move. It's probably good. I don't know. Some of those like advanced techniques that like people use for like competitive Pokemon, they're they're just not good um, in in oh that's a cool move in uh, solo like the campaign Pokemon stuff like it's really funny and that should be enough if I do it one more time it will kill it so the rage thing gets stronger the more damage I do to it I'm not sure because that was it really wasn't that strong but we got lots of Ultra Balls hooray point. Boink, boink. And... Nice. That was fast. Doduo, like I said, becomes Dodrio. So there's two more for the decks. We're well over 200 Pokemon as well. I can't believe how close we're getting uh, to a full Pokedex for, you know, again, not my Pokedex, but you know what I mean. Twin Bird Pokemon. It lives on a grassy plain where it can see a long way. If it sees an enemy, it runs away at 60 miles an hour. Jeez. All right, let's find uh, Ponyta as well. All right, and here is Ponyta. So cute. Ponyta becomes Rapidash, which is like, this is a pony, and then Rapidash is just actual full-on horse. Let's hope Mudslap won't kill it. It might. Oh, that's perfect. Good stuff. And Tail Whip, come on. It's like, I get that your wild Pokemon, that's such like a bad move to just have at that level. There we go, let's catch it. Then we can move on to the next route, which is actually one of the longer routes in the game. It goes way up into the Pokemon League. Uh, there are a few trainers, but it's not too, too crazy. Come on, Ponyta. You'll love living in my computer. 
away from the fields where you thrive. That's the kind of mean thing when you just want to catch them all. It's like, there you go. I've heard that inside the Pokeball is like this like little paradise for the Pokemon. Like they really like it and it's, it, it takes care of them really well. I have no idea how technology works in the Pokemon world because that sounds crazy advanced, but whatever. There's two more. Fire Horse Pokemon, training by jumping over grass that grows longer every day has made it a world-class jumper. It's kind of a random fact. I liked how in the other, in the, the first games, uh, it was like its hooves can trample anything and make diamonds or something like that. It's kind of crazy how the facts work in Pokemon. Uh, you're probably going to be a fisherman, so just get Dio in here. Switch you up. Lobster level 42, which is great. And oh no! You can skip all these trainers by just surfing, it's kind of funny, but I'm feeling great today. I feel like I could boot even the League Champ. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat this, man. You're not good enough for the League Champ. Believe me. Three, three but one sorry, Scott, and your Quillfish. Your level 30 Quillfish. I love, I should, like, someone should make this guy's team and see how well he does against the, the Elite Four. I would love that. That'd be so funny to me. Really doesn't kill, damn. Ah, not minimize. <laughs> Don't like it. How accurate is this stuff? Cut should be pretty accurate. Good, okay, there we go. Then who cares? Awesome. Swift is perfect for that, like, situation. Really great. Scott uses another Quillfish. Oh my god, are you gonna fight the Elite Four with three Quillfish at level 30? Scott? I'm so weird. Ugh. So how's everyone doing? I'm doing pretty good. It is Saturday today, and it's very nice out. I was worried it was going to rain today because I needed to mow the lawn because I have company coming over tomorrow. Uh, I've got my brother-in-law coming over tomorrow because uh, they are pregnant. My, my brother-in-law my sister-in-law. And uh, we're going to be learning the, the gender of the baby. We're all happy about that. Uh, they didn't want to do a big party, which is perfectly fine. That's not everyone's thing. Um, but we're having a little barbecue tomorrow, and I wanted to get the grass cut. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear, oh, oh you long. Eh. So I'm glad it was a nice day out today, but <laughs> anyone who's watched me play, or uh, well, watched me play Mega Man X2 knows my stories about how I feel about mowing the lawn on weekends, because uh, I get, like, I don't like people watching me mow the lawn. It sounds weird, like, I'm super, wow, look at all those badges, I'm impressed, but you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? I, yeah, that's fair, I want to beat the League Champion, I want to catch them all. I'm not satisfied just by... You know, just by getting those badges, Psychic Richard. He read my mind really well. Ooh, Espeon. Yay! Very cute. It's a Mr. Bud the Cat. Um, but yeah, so anyone who knows me knows that I'm weird, and I just don't like when people see me doing things. At my old job, I, I worked shift work, right? So I could have, like, a Wednesday off, and that'd be... Ooh, that's gonna do... That's gonna kill, isn't it? Oh, not, okay, that's not bad. Don't worry. Dio will heal you up. Or at least get you out of the fight. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't like it when when uh, people can see me kind of mowing the lawn. So I guess this is another episode of Phil is a socially anxious garbage fire. I don't know. Uh, I just find it. I don't know. I get I get embarrassed. I guess I like someone's gonna like judge me because I'm not mowing my lawn properly. So that's why I used to try to do it on like week a weekdays. But now I got my weekends off, so everyone's home and kind of doing the same thing. I'm actually a lot better now with a lot of that stuff. Um, ever since having James, uh, we've started to get to know our neighbors a little bit. Speaking of neighbors, hi, Ralph. I don't care. I'm not going to do battle with you. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, we, we're getting to know the neighbors a lot more now that we have a kid. So, and that's really good. I'm actually really glad about that. Um, I'm going to not explore. I'm just going to keep going. I can go back later and fight anything. I Ooh, hello. Uh, you probably want to look a little tired. You should rest. Oh, thank you. I love that. I love how there's this woman here. There. You probably want to looking good. Keep at it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Actually, I think this place also has... No, that's just okay. There's a, a, a house around here which will tell you about the, um, the weak siblings. Uh, since you've come this far, you must be good. I'm going to give this battle everything I've got. Well, good for you. But yeah, uh, so I've gotten to know them a little bit more. Uh, some I don't know the names of. We know each other's kids' names, but not each other's name, which is really funny. Uh, but question of the day, do you have a weird social anxiety that like is that you think no one else is like, ah, oh, this, this is, you know, it's just, it's just me. I just think this way, but I know no, no one else does. That's me with mowing my lawn. Uh, I mean, it's me with a lot of things. Cause again, I'm a socially anxious garbage fire. Uh, but tell, tell me about yourself. Make me feel a little bit better. <laughs> There's something that you, oh, Blastoise, I love it. Is there anything that you kind of 
you, you feel weird about doing in public that everyone everyone does. Um, I don't know. It could be anything. You don't, you don't have to tell me. Obviously, I'm not here to make fun of you or or tell you that type. Of, or you know, to to say you're weird for for thinking the way you do. Because that's not that's not why I'm doing this. It's just fun to share little maybe eccentricities that we all have. You know what I mean? So that's mine. That's mine. Take you down. There we go. All right, we got 10 minutes left. I really definitely want to keep going. So we have another fight with Skaz before we reach the Elite Four. So maybe I'll avoid some people now. No, I don't believe this. Believe it, Joyce. Let's skip that because I do not care about getting a uh, random berry at this point. I don't think I can skip you. No, I don't think I can. Can I go? No, that doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, wow, you don't see me. Well, I'll come back for you later, bud. The fun thing is, once we reach the Elite Four, uh, we can actually fly there at any point. So I can go back here and get stuff all I want. Uh, ah, I knew it. Oh, I was going to have to fight her anyways. I lost to a trainer named Skaz, who was really strong, but it was as if he absolutely had to win at any cost. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. Oh, well, you sound nice. Let's just talk. Why do we have to fight? You just lost. You know, your Pokemon are probably hurt. Come on, Beth. Let's just chat. Get to know each other. We got a Rapidash. Oh, cool. Very cool. That's a Rapidash, guys. That's what Ponyta becomes. It's a, that was a long animation, too. I love this animation in this game. There is not in... Uh, you probably already know this because I've probably already said it. There are not animations for Pokemon in um, Gold and Silver. This was introduced in Crystal. And weirdly enough, uh, in Ruby and Sapphire, they they do not have animation in that game either. But they bring them back in the, the third game of that series, which is... Uh, is it Emerald? Yeah, it's Emerald. So it's kind of weird they took it back, and then at that point they added them in every Pokemon. Pokemon aren't tools of war. I like you, Beth. Pokemon are invaluable, lifelong partners. It's been a while since I lost. You're very good at battling. We should battle again sometime, dude. The challenge is everything to get better too. And yeah, you know what? I'm gonna give her a phone number. She sounds like someone who like when you rematch them they get stronger. So that'd be kind of a cool one. Uh, let's get that random item that was down here, which is a max elixir. I'm okay with that, but it's okay if you don't want to get that because I will be going back and uh, getting everything that I need. Let's go on. Ah, damn it! <laughs> I'm making my five preparations for the Pokemon League. I'm going to skip you. Unless there's something really cool about the fight. Yeah, nothing special there. Just a Parasect and a Gold Duck. Pokemon we've seen in red and blue. So I'm just going to keep going, basically. And here we are. Route 26. Pokemon League Reception. You don't get the cool reception gate that you did in, um... In, uh... Uh, red and blue where the idiot stopped with every badge, but only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please go right on through. Okay. And you can't go through here, which is a shame right now. This is way least to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. It's the strongest place in the game, so yeah, you can't go there. Off to the Pokemon League, are you? The Elite Four are so strong, it's scary, and they're ready for you. So you can't move around here, which is a shame, but here we go. Victory Road. Uh, normally... Yeah, I'm only looking for one Pokemon here, so... Oh, that's cool music. Uh, there are no trainers. I want to catch that random Pokemon. It is a Rhyhorn. Um, so I guess we'll just not have a... Um, I forget which one I'm going. Uh, we won't have um, a Repel until I find the Rhyhorn, which is right... No, this is a Rhydon! This is the super rare one that I don't want... I don't need. So that's kind of funny. But, I mean, I might as well fight them and... Ooh, man, 35. That's really good. Uh, I should actually have um, Patty at the front. Unless I'm going to do a lot. Oh, because you're a rock Pokemon, aren't you? Ooh, damn. Okay. You know I'm just going to run. <laughs> the only one that I really care to find right now is a Rhyhorn. Not a Rhydon. So Rhyhorn is the mo more common uh, fight around here. So let's hope I get it. Yeah, decently strong Pokemon around here. With, d like, decent experience as well. Uh, let's uh, switch in... Patty. Patty is going to be able to take care of everything really easily here, so might as well gain some easy levels for for it. Let's get some items. And hope for that Rhyhorn fight. Here's my bike. Get rid of the suspenseful music, I guess. Yeah, a thousand experience for that uh, for a Rhydon. That's really, really good. Also, I can't believe I got two Rhydons and no Rhyhorns so far. Gold bats are worth about uh, 800. That's really good, too. Still no Rhyhorns. Wow. The, holy crap. The encounter right here is nuts. All right. I'm going to specifically hunt down a Rhyhorn specifically before we move on. Might as well, right? There we go. That actually took a lot longer than it should have, considering it's not a, not a super common one, but a common enough one. 
Uh, I think Spark won't actually do anything. Yeah, I can't actually damage him. So I'm going to... That's not good. Oh, that's just speed. Let's say, mean look, uh, that would have stopped me from switching up my Pokemon. Let's go for... Dio's too close to dead. Let's just use Flopsters real quick. We'll use a Mud Slap. That shouldn't take it out. Hopefully. Yeah, use Scary Face all you want. I don't care. Good, okay, that's that's great. A Rhyhorn turns into a Rhydon, and you've already seen a Rhydon. And uh, there is a third evolution after that called Rhyperior, but it is not in this game. It's another one of those ones that I think was Gen 4 again. They added a lot of Gen 4 evolutions for Gen 1 Pokemon in that game. It was very weird, but I think it's pretty cool because like it makes some of these Pokemon just a lot stronger. I still don't really use them because I'm all about using new Pokemon uh, for that Gen. Though, I mean, if I ever play... Gen 4, I doubt it. Uh, we'll see what we choose at that point. So, here we go. That's two more for the decks. Spikes. Pokemon. It can remember only one thing at a time. Okay. Once it starts rushing, it forgets why it started. Jeez. Doesn't sound very smart. Hopefully, Rhydon is a lot smarter than that. Rhyperior looks dumb. I don't like the way it looks. But yeah, let's use Repels, because um, that's it. We're done catching Pokemon. Uh, at least for a little while. So, let's head up. There's only one more floor, and uh, we definitely want to get that. I think this might be it. No, it's an HP up. Okay, well, I still want that. What can we get rid of? Ah, I have nuggets. Why do I have nuggets right now? It's so dumb. Let's get rid of a paralyzed cure. Let's just toss that. No point in having it. HP up. We'll use all that stuff, except for my rare candies, uh, when we get to the the um, Elite Four, because we want to use up our Carbos. Is anything like that we might end up having? So we definitely want to uh, use all that and get ready for the fight. The rare candies, I still want to wait till the very end of the game. And this is what I want. No, it's full restore, which is still good. Hey, I'm not complaining. Not complaining. But that's this one thing I specifically want. I think that's the end of the tunnel right there. Well, let's fall down here. Good. This is probably what I want. TM26. Yes, it is. Ah, TM26. TM26! Oh my god, I'm so happy now! Where are you, TM26? TM26 Earthquake! Earthquake is a very powerful attack! And Flopsters can learn it normally, but I wanted to learn it now. Ooh, Dio can learn it too! Very cool! No, I want Flopsters to learn it. Uh, let's get rid of... Uh, Mudslap. Earthquake is extremely powerful, but you don't have a lot of uh, uses of it, so it's not it's not a bad move to use PP ups for. And let's continue. My super repel is probably about to wear off. That's okay, because we are done. Perfect. Good timing. Hold it. Are you going to take the Pokemon League challenge? Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. I'm not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. Phil, I challenge you. You're a very confident young man, I'll say that. Here we go. Not the last rival fight, but definitely a decent one. Six Pokemon, starting with Sneasel. Level 34, so we should be fine. Uh, I don't know if that will do anything here, but might as well use it. Screech lowers my defense a good chunk. Yeah, sharply fell. Ah, damn! And Fury Cutter. That is a bug type, isn't it? Yeah. It's not going to be very... Oh, come on! Really? And Fear Cutter doubles up in damage every time I think it hits, with uh, consecutively. So there we go. That's how you. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Got Magneton. Okay, let's get the Hamburger in here. Um, Earthquake actually be really good too, because um, Ground is really good against Steel. I think. No, it's Poison. What am I thinking of? Because uh, it's a lightning, that's why I was thinking that. Um, but Fire Punch is still really good. Good. Okay, I worry it wouldn't hit. Nice. Nice. Ah, damn, really. Oh, don't hit. Damn. Paralyzed. That's okay. It means my speed's really low, though. And that'll do a decent amount. If I can hit, maybe a critical, that'd be really nice. That was a critical. I, I want a critical. Not going the way I want it. That's okay. We're still hitting. We'll get a hamburger out of this uh, as soon as this bag turns down. <laughs> nice. I'm glad I killed it. I didn't think it was going to, but that was good. Okay, 
Next up we have Golbat. Um, it's a flying type, so I can't use Earth. Oh, that's us use Mr. Brother the Cat. Psybeam will take it out really easily, because it's a, a um, psychic, uh, psychic type. Or, er, psychic against uh, poison. So nice, aggressive Psy Wave, or Psy Beam will be really good. Level 36. Skaz, you're doing a good job of keeping up your levels, though. I'll say that. Mm, very nice. Gotta love those types of advantages. And, yeah, level 41. Go, Mr. Brother the Cat. And Haunter. We're just gonna... No, um... I forget. Okay, so it is half, uh, half um, poison. I never remember if Psychic is weak against Ghost or the other way around. That sounded good. Yeah, fine. We're good. I think it's just the first game that tries to do the whole Ghost versus Psychic, and it didn't work anyways because it was, like, programming errors. Kadabra. Okay, let's get... Uh, let's get... So Flopsters out here. Use a nice strong attack, strong physical attack, specifically earthquake. Hopefully this will take it out. But Kadabra is very strong, or it's very, very strong, but also very fast. So you have future sight. That's fine. Nice. Come on. That's right. Oh, earthquake is a very powerful attack. It's also physical, which is great against Pokemon like Alakazam. Uh, and Typhlosion. Perfect. We'll use. Actually, we'll keep um. Uh, flops is out here. Typhlosion is um, the evolution of uh, Cyndaquil and Quilava. We finally get to see the third uh, step. And Flame Wheel shouldn't do too much damage because I'm a ground type Pokemon. So I should be strong against it. And Earth should be. Um, ooh. Ooh, and a burn. That's not good. I guess I'm not um, strong against fire. But I think Earthquake is strong against fire. No, I guess not. I guess they're neutral against each other. I don't know why I thought the other way around. Still, that's a still. Oh, it is super effective. Didn't kill. Really? It's impressive. It's probably gonna heal up? No, guess not. Well, I can survive. I could definitely survive another flame wheel. Uh, even with burn. Oh, right! I'm burned, so my attack went down. So that's still very powerful, considering I, you know, my attack like almost halved there. Well, it's done. Skaz, you done? That's good, because this episode's done. Oh my god, that's a lot of experience. So here's a great place to level up, because you have a free Pokemon Center just above us. Um, so feel free to, like, level up here all you want. So that's great. I couldn't win. No, you couldn't. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. Ooh. Are we seeing character development? I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. I'll beat you down with all of my power. <laughs> you keep at it until then. Oh, there we go. Keep at it until then. That's the best thing he's ever said to us. All right. Here we go. And this is it. Indigo Plateau, the ultimate goal for trainers. Pokemon lead, League HQ. And we will do everything we need to off-screen healing and, and buying items. And next episode, we are going to fight the Elite Four. I'm Fellow Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.